Welcome to the training video for the Vinyl 4 Studio Vinyl Cutter. So the first thing to do is to have to switch the machine on. And then once the machine is on, what you will see on the screen here, it will show you your speed and your force. So as you can see, my speed is on 74%, force is on 122. And then to change the speed and the force, you can use these directional buttons here. Left and right for force, and then up and down for speed, as you can see. The next thing you'll see is you have a reset button here, which of course, if you press, the machine will cancel everything that it was doing and then go back to its home position. Then you have your origin button, which we will take a look at also later. Then the next thing we're going to go through are these three buttons here at the bottom. Now the first one being offline, which when you click it, allows you to access the X and the Y axis. Now the X and the Y axis allow you to move your carriage left, and right and your material up or down so now you need to press origin to tell the machine that that's the new starting position and then the next button we have is setup so what setup does is it allows you to access the menu where you can change your language your scale switch between virtual com or printer cable and access files on your usb disk and then last but not least we have our test button which will cut a small block to actually test if your blade is cutting or not cutting now before you load the material you need to always make sure that your wheel is directly aligned with your roller so that it can be able to clamp your material and move it back and forth seamlessly which is a good time for me to show you how to load the material so just remove one of the holders from the back of the machine and then slide them inside the core of your material and then now place it back again like so and then bring your material up below the wheels and just slide it in and now you can clamp your material down using these locks. And then I'm going to show you one more time how to move your material up and down using the directional buttons. So firstly, you're gonna have to click your offline button to give you access to your X and Y margin. That's where you're able to move your carriage to the left in position and move your material down or up. Down or up. So now let's get to the blade. This is your blade right here and this is your blade holder. So you need to take it out by releasing this tension here. And then simply picking it out. Now this here is your blotter pen and this is how you put it in. So just like the blade will go in, the plotter pen goes in the same way. You just drip it in from the top here. And then we are ready for plotting. However, I'm going to take it out because we are going to be doing cutting. So this here is your blade holder. And to remove your blade, what you need to do is push the button at the bottom here. This will push your blade up and then you can simply pick it up from the top. And then to get your blade back in as well, you can push the button up and then simply drop it in and then release. So now to get the height of your blade right, what you need to do is release the lock nut here. And then this will give you room to move the lock nut at the bottom up or down. And as you can see, the blade is just coming out. So for now, we lock it off where it is. 
So now you need to test it on the vinyl to see if it's too much or it's too little. So put the blade back in and then that's where the test button actually comes in. So now you can actually go ahead and press your test. And as you can see, because this cut out perfectly, it means my blade is set right. However, if the backing paper was also cut through, it means my blade was set out too much. So now that we are happy with our blade test, we move our carriage to the position where we actually want to start cutting. And then once we are there, we press origin to set the new starting position. Now that concludes your basic training on your Vinyl 4 Studio. Now for more training videos, please visit Vinyl4.com for more information on software, basic cutting and contour cutting. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you soon.